Okay, I want to close off our discussion with a math induction, but we will never quite close it off because it's a topic that we will come back to and reuse over and over in the course. Here are two alternative forms of induction. They're logically equivalent. The first one is, is a strategy that you use in arguments that you're going to proceed by contradiction. You want to prove something, so in order to prove it, you assume that it's false and then argue to a contradiction. So if you have a statement of the form SN and you want to prove that it's true for all N, an alternative strategy is to say if it's false, then there is some least integer for which it fails. And then you argue on the special properties of that integer. The second strategy is called strong induction. And look at the detail of the assumption that you make. The base step is the same, but in the inductive step, rather than assume that it's true only for the integer sk, you assume that it's true for all the values from your base case up to the value k. And in some situations, you need them all. It's not just one, you need them all. And this is the strong form of induction. And logically, it's easily seen to be completely equivalent to the original statement of math induction. So at various cases, especially in our graph theory work, you're going to see this strong form of induction being used.